Hey friends, it's Eric, and as you know, food costs are skyrocketing. Inflation is out of control. So one of the ways that my family and I are trying to save some money is to eat leftovers and to freeze things where we can find things on sale. But one of the downsides to that is how do you keep it fresh and healthy and safe? And so decide to get this Presto vacuum sealer it's not just a sealer but it's also a scale which is, i thought was really cool because now you can kind of weigh out your meal for your prepper or just a prepare you know if you're making food for the week and you're watching your calories this is a great way to measure food and then seal it up and have it ready to go for each day of the week now i like it. it comes with two different size bags and obviously you're gonna have to buy more bags down the road and you can customize the size of the bag it comes with a nice little cutter that's kind of built right into it you can take it out and you can cut the bag to size that you need and then obviously you have to buy more of these bags later it also has a hose where you can actually pressurize different types of bags you can see here here's um, like a ziploc bag Bag with a um, hole in it that you can suck out the air that way. Um, then you can also buy containers where you can hook up this hose to and suck it out that way. Really nice system. It's super easy to use. You just seal up one side, cut the bag to the size that you need, put your food in, and then you're going to vacuum seal it and um, you're done. It's really simple. It takes about two minutes really quick and easy then you can freeze it or you can refrigerate it depending on your plan now my only downside this really doesn't have to do with the machine it just has to do with vacuum sealing altogether is you can't have a lot of liquid because it's going to start sucking that liquid out it's trying to pull all the air out but it comes with the liquid um, and if you get a little liquid inside the machine no big deal there's a little container in there that you can clean out and as you can see here, I originally tried some burgers and unfortunately they're just too juicy and it doesn't work. You can have a little bit of juice, but something like this, you really want to freeze. I usually freeze my burgers and other things that have a lot of juices for about two hours. Um, and then I do a vacuum seal. That way it's a solid and there's nothing that comes out and it all gets vacuum sealed within the package. And then I can either refrigerate or freeze it as I see fit. And then there's two settings where you can actually, if you're doing vegetables that are a little bit more sensitive, um, where it does, it's not going to crush them because it can, re this thing is really powerful. It can really crush some things. As you can see here, here's a box of sugar and it, it crush the box of sugar um, so just be aware of that that there is a gentle setting for vegetables and other things that are a little bit more sensitive obviously if there's meat and protein you put it on the normal setting or if you're doing like the sugar and the flour like i am no big deal if it's on the heavy setting because you do want to get rid of that air. All right, guys, I really love this. I think it really comes in hand, especially these days, because you do want to save your money. And one of the best ways to do that is to buy things when they're on sale, save them, freeze them, prepare them for later, and definitely save that money. And this definitely helps with it. All right, guys, give this a two thumbs up. This is definitely staying on my countertop. And it's definitely a permanent thing now in my kitchen. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.